Hey YouTube viewers, this is an update on um, my 40 breeder with my two corns. Uh, I just cleaned their cage and redid it. Uh, it's been about two years, I think. Maybe a year and a half since uh, I showed you the first vid. Maybe a little longer. Um, I wanted you guys to uh, see see them. Uh, last you saw, the boy was about two and a half feet. Now, he's been built up to where he's a monster. You can see he's no small guy anymore. He's pushing four feet right now. His girlfriend, the snow corn, she is sitting in this cave, which I do not want to move right now. But she is pushing three and a half, four feet as well. And if you look closely, you can barely see a little bit of a shade right, right in there. And that's her. She's actually sticking her head. She's She's very curious what's going on. And that is just simply poly polystyrene. Uh, you know, they use an insulation. Go to a Home Depot or Lowe's. Go to the insulation section. Uh, and you'll see huge slabs of pink styrofoam for around $10, $12. Uh, and all I did was take that stuff and I make it to wherever I want it to make. Uh, it holds the heat real well. Um, and if you want, you can always throw dry lock on and give it a nice, more natural look. You know, I really don't care what it looks like as long as they got a nice, safe home. And uh, they're doing great now. Um, just for those who uh, aren't used to taking care of corn or have any questions, uh, corn snakes can vary from uh, 2 feet any, up to 6 feet. Um, I've heard rumors of a 7-foot corn snake, but I doubt it. It's probably a rat. Um, they um, typically eat pinkies, mice in that area. Um, I have been able to get these guys to eat small rats. Um, you know, like rat hoppers, uh, a little bit bigger than those guys. Um, and they love those. Um, he, they both eat about two, two to three mice. Um, I have uh, gotten my female corn to eat, uh, what was it, five adult large mice. Uh, and uh, let's say she definitely looked like a boa constrictor the time she was finished. Um, you know, the snakes will take whatever they 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 know they can take. And, um, you know, there's some arguments of how much you should feed them. I was just trying to get rid of the mice because I didn't want to throw them away. And uh, she's the one that eats it. So, um, hopefully they will breed again this coming up spring season. Um, and I'll probably see if I can get some actual uh, babies hatched from it this time. Uh, last year they laid eggs and none of the eggs made it, uh, which is normal for a first clutch. Um, corn snakes are naturally found um, throughout the United States. Um, they're very common uh, in the woods, you know, sometimes around hat homes. Um, they got their name corn snake uh, from farmers when they first moved over here. They uh, saw these snakes in the corn, and they uh, they thought that the these snakes were eating the corn. And that's how they got the name corn snake. But really, they uh, were eating the mice in the corn. So that's just a fun fact. Um, like I said, the one in here, she's a snow faced, uh, and she's got uh, pink, white, and yellow. And the boy, he's a uh, uh, orange. They call them orange rat snakes, um, but he's a corn, like I said. Uh, it's just a name. So if you ever hear the term orange rat snake, it's nine times out of ten a, a corn snake. Uh, let's go into the or red rat snake, same thing. Um, going, it's just a phase, a morph. Um, and if you guys have any questions, comments, please post. Um, I'm happy to answer.